Damn. What's up, everybody? It's Danny, back here again with another excellent sound serum remake slash tutorial. We are here in Hollywood. Parker is here. Bob Parker Ament. Bob Parker himself. My name is Danny Ferrari. Kenny is on the AV. Kenny G. Kenny G. He's, head, he's our head videographer and video engineer. Did I say it right? Oh, yeah. I did. And we are here today to bring you a very, very special remake for Joyride's New Breed. New song just came out. We did a remake, and we also, uh, we actually, no, we, we did a, that's it, we did a remake. Dude, look at my, I'm just looking at my, like, hood <laughs> we had from to this wear angle. Hoodie. This is... This is super dark. This is so trap. So uh, make sure if you guys like what you see, give us a like, a share on Facebook. Uh, also, we're going to be posting this to YouTube later. But if you're on Facebook, we live, baby. We live. We live. So we're super stoked. We're going to go ahead and show you guys what we did real quick here. Uh, also, too, last thing, uh, we will be having our very first pack June 1st. If you haven't heard us talking about it, it's coming out. It's called Dub Sample Sauce. Sample pack. Sample pack. Dub Excellent sauce. Dub Sauce. Dub socks. <laughs> dub, dub socks. Dub socks. Dub sauce. It's going to be pretty sweet. Uh, a lot of good dubstep stuff. And some signature series, including some of the samples that we're going to be doing in this actual song. So you guys are just going to have to wait for that. Pick up the pack. And oh, a yeah. free download of my song, apparently. Yes. If I, you guys want that. If you want it, I'm going to give you my song. I'm going to come out down with below. you first. Comment down below. I think that's good for the intro. Let's show what we did. Uh, before I do, I just want to show that we're not cheating. I'm going to go over here. This is my little bits. Uh, this is the little lead part. I went ahead and I uh, I high passed. Actually, no, fuck. I'm going to I'm gonna just show people first. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. I got to put my utility thing off and on for the radio show. All right, let's hear our remake. Cops, gunshots, uh, and mamas uh, in the screen talk. 30 million views where the money from the screens Fucking nailed it, bro. Dude, so sick. Yeah, so what we did is we remade the first sound right here. This little. His sounds like this. Oh, his sounds like this. His sounds like. I need to cut this really quick. Move this over. Cut this. That sound. So, yeah, we're going to be making that sound along with the sub, which sounds like you can hear in the background. It's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our version, you can hear again. We fucking nailed it. Basically, what I did is I put a little um, low. Is that I always forget it? Is it low pass, low filter? What, what they always confuse. Low, low cut. Show, low cut. High pass. High pass means you are letting the highs pass through. Pass through. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we took these little bits and pieces right here for that little lead thing. That little like. That little fun thing. We thought it'd be cooler to make the sub and the the first sound because we thought they were cooler. It's more aggressive. So we uh, we cut out the low, so you can just hear this. That's just that instrument, so you can hear that that the, there's nothing right here. That's our instrument right here, and that's gonna be your instrument. Free download down in the description below for you guys. Down if below. You if you don't want to watch the whole video, you don't have to. If you don't want to hang out with us for real, just like go and just skip to it, or we're gonna put some chapters on the YouTube and just download it. It's gonna be sick. Someone's talking to us. Oh, that's Ian. Ian's talking in the radio. E-Blast. E-Blast is distracting me. Okay, so uh, also, too, we remade uh, the sub, which sounds like this. The side chain's on, so it's kind of going to get that little slip thing. Uh, in the pack on June 1st, we're going to be having the Joyride kick in there. I swear to God, it's the same kick. I know because I made it. Actually, I don't know if it's the same kick, but I made it. It sounds just like it. And the Joyride clap. Love it. Love it. Sexy clap. But you guys don't get those right now, June 1st, for those. We're, right now, we're going to make the uh, – we're going to get into the sub, I think. Let's do that, right, Parker? Yes. But, yeah, I just like – I like to uh, show the whole project. I know I'm kind of like all over the place, but I like to show the whole project so you guys can see what we did uh, and see how we did it. You know, I think it's, like, very useful. Do you think uh, do you think they would want like a like an Ableton project maybe in the future? Would you guys want that? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think we can do it if we give it away for free. No. Totally. I think what people what the people want is they want for you to put your hood back on. Oh yeah. 
the hood. <laughs> you don't it was have getting to. it was getting trapped. I'm here. so hot in here, but I'm I'm committed yeah. for Joyride because he's such a sick producer, <laughs> and he's a really nice dude. I'm gonna put on. He's great. My hood the whole time. So we're gonna save the this synth for last, and we're gonna do the sub first. This is like a really good basic sub. Uh, it's got some pitching on it. Uh, we went ahead and saved an instrument rack for you guys, so you guys can just jump right into it if you want. Uh, this is going to be something that you can really use in a lot of your tracks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new MIDI track. Shift Command T. I say it every time. Hopefully you've learned it by now. And Command T. Ooh, a little extra bonus. Command T. Command T is to make a new audio track. If you didn't know that. Nice. Fun stuff, learning stuff. We had an excellent sound. Yo, I found a great shortcut the other day. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Option Command Fade or Option Command F. Oh, like Pro to Tools. Fade, yeah, to show. To oh, show actually, the fade. I think I knew that, but I never use it. But that's like a that's it's super annoying to have to right click and do that. So thank you for sharing. Yes, that. that's really great. Okay, now that we have our serum open and we got an initialized patch, we're gonna go ahead and start with a basic waveform i love basic shapes okay and it's going to be a sign you can move through there's a bunch of them you can mess around but sign is the best for sub if you didn't know that so go ahead and start with that parker you're not following along i'm lost already dude i'm right there <laughs> i'm right I'm there right there with you let's take our sub midi and we're going to bring it down option drag click i'm going to turn this one off right now it should be sounding like this i'm going to solo it is it solo it is can't hear anything. Oh, because I got no levels. No levels. No levels. That's on. That's on. I'm trying not to move the serum. There we go. All right, cool. So that's looking pretty good. You're going to set the oscillator A octave to plus one. That's what we're trying to get to. And you're going to turn the level down to, what do I have it at? 27. Oh, I nailed it kind of. 26. So 27. Um, and that's it for the first oscillator. You guys are doing so well. I'm so fucking good. You guys are you. doing great. <laughs> we love you. We love you. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a second oscillator. This is cool because this is an interesting harmonic thing I learned to use for the sub. I do it on a lot of my subs. We're going to do a, another basic shapes. We're going to leave it on a sine wave. This one is also going to set up to one octave, and the semitones are going to be up at seven. So this is actually adding a harmonic. Ooh. So if I just mute oscillator A, you can hear. It's a lot louder, so let me turn the level down. We're going to turn the level down to, where do I have it at? Same thing. I have 27%, so they're pretty much the same. So what's happening is you're getting, you're getting an extra harmonic in there. It's like, a little harmonizing actually i can show you because we have time again if you don't want to watch the stream or if you don't want to hang out feel free to skip to the chapters uh where we're talking about serum actually i, should, I should i should just probably just go through it but actually i'm gonna explain this fuck it yeah sorry guys it'll explain. take two minutes it's a good learning experience see there's two right there that's two that's that's the second harmonic right there. That's what it's adding which is pretty cool love it uh versus if i just took this off See, there's one harmonic. I was hoping that that would not, I would not fuck that up. <laughs> I'm always afraid I'm going to say something wrong. How many harmonics do you think is too much? Uh, I usually saturate harmonics. That's another trick that you can do to get it to come out of laptop speakers. I don't know. It just yeah. depends. It depends. I know in like uh, there's an isotope plug-in where you can take out the hum and it automatically goes to all the harmonics of the frequency oh, that, that you the, do. Oh, is that the Nectar or Neptune or something? Or? Uh, I think it's, uh, no. It's uh, Isotope. Uh, I think it's like Hum. Isotope. It's like Hum something. Hum. Yeah. That sounds pretty cool. But it's great. To, yeah. That, there's some crazy fucking shit out there. But anyway, let's keep going on with this sub. It's not a very long one. This one should be pretty quick. Um, so that's pretty much it for the oscillators. We want to add a sub oscillator. Is, is this an oscillator? I don't know. It just says sub. It probably is an oscillator. I guess it is. Yeah, I think so. And you're going to turn the level of this all the way up. This is going to be our big sub. I don't. I hope you guys can hear it if you're not wearing headphones. But either way, just follow along. Get It'll sound headphones. good at the end. All right, go ahead and open up your effects. And all we have right now is just a distortion, bro. 
And the distortion we're going to use is soft clip, kind of like the saturator in Ableton, Danny's favorite. Turn the drive up to 82%, and then the mix is going to go down to around 84%. Should be sounding like this. See how much more harmonics we have there? You can see that's a lot of frequency. It's just saturating it, so that's going to cause it to come out of the laptop that's a little bit better. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. That's um, a good test, right? Just playing your 808s through the laptop speakers? Yeah, I always do that. I always check a mix on 808s or subs just on because I want them to come through, you know? Do you even mix on headphones? Do you just mix on your laptop I mix, speakers? I mix most of my stuff on headphones, and then I use my laptop, and I have speakers at home, but if I'm lucky, I get to come here at Excellent Sound and use the studio. Oh, yeah. Even some, though I am I am part of Excellent Sound, I don't own the studio. Some some beast uh, focals in here. Some awesome speakers in here. So I get to I get special privileges for final mixes. Oh, yeah. When Uncle Ian isn't around. <laughs> Dude, one of my boys actually checks his mixes on his TV speakers. Yeah, whatever. That's, that's pretty crazy, I yeah. think. I mean, that's whatever works. Um, oh, yeah. We have one more thing to do, by the way. Set this to mono. Actually, two more things. And go ahead and use LFO 1. And we're going to set it to like right there. And put it on trigger and set it to half mode. And then in the matrix, we're going to assign LFO 1. This is to get, at this point, you've already made the sub, but this is just to get the oh, oh, kind of pitching thing it's doing. So LFO 1 for source, destination, we're going to do global master tune. And we're going to set this. I think I set it to six semitones. I haven't looked at Parker's computer the whole time. Oh, I have. Look, but for this one, I just want to see if did I nail it right? Nailed it. Nailed it. Should be sounding Nailed like this. Nailed it. You can hear the side chain on. I should turn the side chain off so they can't hear Joyride it. is so good at bending his uh, his subs, man. Yeah, he does some cool stuff, dude. Let me turn off the side chain real quick. I have a saturator on there, too. He like makes like his housey parts sound trappy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. When he when he goes in the house drop, it's like, he's he, dude. It's his, I've been listening to his stuff for a long time, bro. He's sick. I'm, I turned you on to him. Yeah, you did. I was like, who's Joyride? Yep. So, uh, yeah, I got that. That's looking pretty good. Uh, we got now the pitch. Yeah, back to that. So you can hear it without the side chain. So yeah, it's kind of bending, bending around. You can do some more stuff with it. But that's pretty much it for this sub. Uh, I don't. I didn't do any processing, did I? Um, I don't think so. You want to hold your beer, buddy? Yes, hold my beer. I don't drink, but this one's for you. We did a little bit of a yeah, baby. Look at that. Stella yeah. Here, what you are, what are we drinking today? Peterson Brand Classics. Peterson Brand. You got to turn the top to the right. So I know you, that, that it's my do? beer and not your beer. But I don't drink beer. Exactly. That's oh, that's what you do at part. That's a good little trick. It's a good little trick. You're a germaphobe. Yes. Cool. There is a little bit. You put a you put a saturator on there. There is a little bit. I asked if you were a germaphobe, and you said there is a little bit. You put a saturator on there. So I put a saturator <laughs> Dude, on. Dude, I am so in, in soft, the mode. Soft clip and drive to four, five, five, seven, one. Sure. Cool, that sounded pretty good. Again, if you want to make that, it's a good sub to have. I use it on a lot of stuff. You can use it dubstep. Dubstep. So quick question for you, Danny. Yes. Um, Give it to what me is your What is your favorite clip uh, for saturating uh, your 808s? Good, is it analog clip? Good question, Parker. Uh, I like just, yeah, I just like analog kick clip. But if you go through different ones when you're going through 808s, it, you can get some really interesting stuff. The Wave Shaper one's crazy. You can get some, you just like, it's not even... Yeah. I don't even know what it does. It just like destroys it and you can get like really weird textures, which is pretty cool. I used the uh the digital clip the other day and it was pretty insane. Yeah. It gave it like a really nice sharp attack. I've been using uh like bit crushers too. The, Ooh, bit, the yeah. redux or whatever the hell redux. it's called. I love called? redux. Yeah, redux and then I will do like two of those and make a chain and dry wet, but I'll go over that another day. Let's hear how it's sounding in context now that we have that. We have this Let's turned on. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I think it sounds pretty good. Sounds awesome. There's your sub, guys. Step one done. Nailed it. Should we go on to step two? Yes. Tell where, where are we? We gotta tell oh, everybody. Yeah. You could just you can just chime in and just say, hey, just so you know, you know, I can't. just so you guys know, guys. I can't do everything. Danny and I just made the sub. 
We just made the sub here at Excellent. We are doing Joyride's new breed. The song just came out. We are making the sub and the first, the sub and the wub. Literally came out yesterday. Literally came out yes, yesterday or I two think, days ago? Or two days ago. Four days ago? Yeah. It just came out just soon. just came out. Anyway, we're making the sub and the wub here at Excellent Sound in sub Hollywood, in the wub. California. Um, we're making this sound next. That was the worst transition ever. <laughs> we're making this sound next. <laughs> That was I, I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was good. Yes. Wow. I love that. It's a classic sound. It sounds like this. Oh wait, I have to go where the filter's not on. The filter's not on here. Sick. Dude, that's that is awesome. It sounds like your classic um wub, but it's also dirtier. It's just dirty. It's like that bass house like fucking it's like, super fucking dirty. I love it. I love it. All right, let's make this one for you guys. You know what? We've waited long enough. I don't even know how long we've been going enough. for. Feels like four hours. Yeah, literally four, four hours. Four fucking hours. Shift Command T for a new MIDI track, guys. And let's go ahead and open up a version of Serum. Yes. No is the answer. Um, Kenny asked if I can hear him. He says, we're at 20 minutes. Thank you, Kenny. Well, we can't hear Kenny right now, but that's okay. Oh, is it because he's turned down here? Yeah, I turned him down. Turn him back up, dude. There was like a party in there before. Oh, that's right, because Ian was just chatty Cathy. Okay. Chatty Cathy. So back to uh, this first, this next web we're making. <laughs> making this sick web. This one. <laughs> Uh, in our instance of Serum, the first thing we're going to do is an oscillator A. We're going to open up an analog, basic shapes. Guys, you can do a lot with basic shapes. Most of the videos, if you haven't seen, if you haven't checked them out already, go check them out. So many flavors. So many different flavors. We've done Boombox Cartel, and most of those sounds are made out of basic shapes. There was a slushy video. There was a slushy video. We don't want to talk about that. That was a great flavor. That was a great flavor. <laughs> Slushies are delicious. Set oscillator A to minus two on the octave that's looking pretty good turn the level down um then we're going to turn warping to fm from b and we are going to add a lfo just like this that's what we're going to do first sorry i'm like looking as i'm going i just made this sound like today so i'm still really fresh on it Drag this right around there. That's how bosses do. Here's another little trick. Do this right here. You click it down. Whatever that's. What would that be called? I don't know. Just making a little cutoff point. Flat line. The reason why I do that. Oh, let me drag my MIDI down. Option drag down. You can't hear it. It's super low. But the reason. Well, you'll find out the reason in a second. Next. That's it for oscillator A. Let's go to oscillator B. Same thing. Basic shapes. Wouldn't you know? Most of the best FM stuff is done in basic shapes. This one is going to be a, was it a saw wave? A saw wave. A saw wave. Every single time, never gets old. Nope. This is gonna be set at plus two octave. So go ahead and set that to plus two. And this is gonna be filter modulating into oscillator A. We wanna go back to oscillator A and set the FM at, what do I have it at exactly? That's a 20, what's that? 26%, okay, 26%. Let's click over to global real quick and let's double click for typical val, type of old typical, I can't talk. Typical Red leather, value. yellow leather. How now brown cow? 26%, is that what I had it at? Uh, Yes. 26%, mm -hmm. awesome. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put LFO one onto FM from B and what did I had that at, Parker? 20. 20. Parker, you're getting so good at knowing where I need to go. Thank oh, you. yeah. I talked shit to you last video, but you're doing so much better. Ooh. That's weird. Why that is it doing that? that? Oh, I know cool why. Stuff. We need to turn the level down on oscillator B. And that's it. You're done. Nice. Just kidding. Okay. For oscillator B, we're going back to oscillator B now, people. I'm all over the place. I know. Go to sync and set sync up to... 1.59 there. That sounded pretty cool. That sounds awesome. Sounds pretty sick. If you're just joining us, we are here at Excellent Sound and we are remaking Joyride's new breed. We're doing the sub and the wub. 
The sub and the wub. The sub and the wub. And we are on the wub. Sub and the wub in the morning at Excellent Sound Radio. Download now. Download the, in the description below. Live on Facebook. <laughs> We're rub, 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 live. I don't know why I started. Wub, wub, wub. Wub, 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 wub. All right. Enough is enough. Back to serious. I, we have such bad ADD. Back to LFO. I still got my fucking hood on, bro. We got chapters. What's good? We got chapters. Yeah. It's all good. Chapters on the YouTube. Chapters for YouTube. This is how we're sounding so far. Wop. Did I mute this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Sounds like this so far. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. Maybe not. <laughs> not cool? It's almost there. It's almost there. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. And we're going to make this a low 12, just like how it is. And you're going to set the cutoff down to 13 hertz. I'm just going to click it. Fuck it. 13. Bam. Super Type it on in there. Type it on in there, folks. Drag LFO1 under the cutoff. And this is going to open it up super fast. Like, what do I have that set at? 68. 68. So it's going to open it. Again, see how we did this little thing right here? We shut it. It just shuts it, shuts the sound off. Because you can hear in his, it's like real, real fast. And then turn the resonance up to, I have it up to around 28%, 23%. 23% is where you want to be. It's getting there. It's getting there, bud. Definitely getting there. Should we turn the fat knob, see what that does? Yeah. And then we'll turn it down because I didn't do it in the other one. Uh, make sure you set on mono because this is a wub, it's a wub bass. Uh, you, know, you know what I noticed? I never, like, in a lot of these videos so far, I mean, I do them, obviously, but I don't really fuck with the first envelope at all. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Now I'm thinking I could probably add a lot more to this. Like, you guys can do so much to this, to this, just this sound and just mess with it and mess with the preset and get some really interesting stuff. Like, you can add a noise or you can add some different octaves here. Like, you can turn this octave way up. That kind of sounds like Ooh, his, his nice. lead a little bit. Yeah. I don't know how he does that. Like, it's like super happy. Yeah, it's awesome. But for us right now, we're at just, we're keeping it at plus two, just so you guys were wondering. Totally. Before I get distracted. Oh, also, um, we're going to have a, a sub on this one as well. Set this to minus one. And then go ahead and also initiate the S for sub for the filter. Because we want the sub to go through the filter too, because we want it to be real fast. Like, leave the level how it is just the same at 75 percent okay that's it for the oscillator page right now so just to get a quick overview we got a basic shape sine wave minus two on the octave we got this type of lfo opening up the level fm from b did you just do this again <laughs> you did didn't just wanted you? to see if you saw i did i always see uh oscillator b is basic shapes uh this is a saw and we have it at sync don't say it I didn't do it. I oh no, I it. messed it up. Sync was at what's the sync at? I want to put it back for the people. One point five nine. One point five nine. One point five nine. It's beautiful. Power one hundred five point nine. Shout out to Power one hundred five point nine. Big boy in the. Oh no, he's not on there anymore. Yeah, he's done. Hip hop's best. All got right. Fired. No, he didn't. I know. I'm just joking. He's just making shit up. Conan O'Brien got fired. Did he really? That was years ago. No. no. I mean, he's on like TNT now or some shit. <laughs> okay, go to the effects tab. Let's go to the effects tab. Let's move on. Hyperdimension. Turn the mix down to around 29%. Is that what I got it at? No, the other one. The mix on the hyper. What do I got it at? 22%. All right, 22. We'll do it exact. I'm making it with you guys here at home or at home. Throw the LFO one on the mix, make it all the way up. So this is gonna open it all the way up. It's just making it a little bit wider. Um, also put an LFO one on mix and drag this down to I'm oh, sorry, the mix on the dimension and drag it down to like 47. Turn the size down to 29. What do I got it at 29? Yeah, 25. 25, 29, whatever feels good. Now it's widened up. We're clipping a little bit. Let's turn the master down just a little bit. It's sounding pretty good. Next, we're going to add some distortion. Tube, turn the drive. Um, actually, leave the drive where it is. Leave the mix all the way where it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this LFO 1 onto the drive so it's going to get dirtier as it opens up. But don't do it all the way. Do it like right there, like 67. 
See? Do you see I what really it did there? I really like that. I really it does like a lot. that. You can hear his is like super dirty. So it's... That's a huge tip right there. You can even like take this and throw it on here if you wanted to. Set it to pre. That even closes it. That's awesome. But I don't really like to do that unless it's something. Uh, remove all modulators. So yeah, um, you can see what's going on here. We're opening it up. If you're just joining us now, uh, we are live. We are remaking Joyride's new breed. I am Danny Fry at Excellent Sound with Parker. Parker. And Kenny is here on the AV. Kenny G. Ian's in the back with technical difficulties. Ian is in the back. Ian in the back. Ian in the back of the studio. Stude blasting. We are making the wub. Let's go ahead and add a compressor now. Let's and do it. Compress on. I did not do a multiband for once. I don't Amazing. know. I just didn't sound right. Sometimes multi band's a little too much. Just turn the gain up to like 14.5 dB. Did I get it right on the dot? 14.5? The gain, Parker. The gain. I was just saying how. Almost. Almost. No, I mean. Don't even go off. Don't even do it. 16.2. And then, oh, yeah. I, I, so what I did here is like, this is parallel compression, right? You're yeah. like the, Parker's the better like engineer guy. Um, so pull the mix down on this to like 40%. So this has got a mix of really compressed and not compressed at all. I used parallel compression in serum. Almost. I'm, and I knew almost. Yeah. <laughs> Why was it not parallel compression? No, serum's effects, I'm still trying to figure out like how they do it. Like, cause when I, when you use it as like a separate entity as like serum effects, you oh, know? Yeah. I, it took me a while to figure it out. If you guys don't have serum effects, it comes free with you have serum. It's pretty dope. It's awesome. I use it sometimes to add more stuff on like my, my instruments. Like if I'm making like a cool synth and I want like more like filters and stuff, cause you can add, all you can add is essentially the effects page. I like their delays too, man. Yeah. Their delay is really good. Um, and you can, you can use the, you can't like assign it and you can't see it like it does here, but you can do stuff in the matrix so you can still get some LFOs and stuff. Really? Maybe we'll do on something audio? on that sometime. That's really cool. Do you guys have any requests? We just, um, we might do a viewer request, right? Yeah, for sure. Viewer, viewer request, serum effects. Viewer request. Down below. Just whatever you want. Just tell us what we want. We're just kind of shooting what we like. We're, we, you know, we We're got some ideas. We're just going for it. We're doing it. Relevant stuff. We're looking for relevant stuff. Hip stuff. Cool stuff. Super hip. And the last thing that we're going to do on this is we're going to add a reverb and leave the reverb. Back to the serum effects. Pretty much the same, except we're going to add the mix up to like 24%. And it should be going like this. Let's solo it. See, now the problem is, is that this is really cool. I mean, that's... That's a great sound already. Just I need to go to where it's not filtered again. Oh, that is, that's awesome. Dude, oh, you can I use forgot that to for set so much. Guys, I forgot something. Make sure you set LFO one to trigger if you haven't done that already. What, is, what does that do? Sounds like Darude. Sandstorm? Sandstorm. What is what do oh trigger? Yeah, trigger. Trigger, uh essentially what it does is it starts the LFO as soon as you hit a key, it starts the LFO at the beginning of the LFO. If I take awesome. off trigger, it's gonna start it wherever it is in retrospect. So like uh, So it's still awesome. playing phasing through. So trigger. Why would you like, ever want trigger off? Um, That's... on certain things, like on, like you can get some interesting. On like pads, I guess, probably. Sometimes I turn it off on like LFO rates to get some different types of stuff. Um, I use it, I, I don't know. I'd have to like explain to you when I was doing it, you know what I'm saying? Why yeah. I would, but it's, there's it's different reasons. And then obviously like envelope is just, you do it once. <laughs> And that's it. Totally. I, but what's cool about triggers, I can go. Yes. You get some cool stuff. The fun stuff. The fun stuff. So that's pretty much it for the sound. But what we're going to do now is we're going to get into some processing. If you don't want to do any of the processing, I mean, this sounds pretty cool as it is. But do processing because you're going to end up doing it in your tracks anyway. I just, it's never, I mean, I don't know, maybe. Just listen to Danny. Just listen to Danny. 
I don't know, man. No. Some people say, don't process your sympathy. No, you need to process. You got to process everything. Yeah, dude, it's not like it's not done. Like, I, I, it does so much stuff, but you don't want to process, that's fine. You're going to have to process it later anyways. One of my first band's name was Process. Shout out Adam Wilson in the comments below. Process? Yeah, we were a Christian like band like Creed. Did you guys drink? N- no. Heck no. And Adam sang about songs about being mad at his parents. <laughs> I hope Adam is in the comments. Ad- he like did comment on one of our videos. Going like <laughs> he that. He was like this. Yeah. <laughs> he's a really talented dude. He's got like a, a, this doesn't, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but he's got a school in North Carolina. Shout Adam out Wilson. Adam. Shout out Adam Wilson to 10,000 people to your school. I forgot what it's called, but super talented dude. Super nice Rock guy. on. Rock on Adam Wilson. Writing songs about your parents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back into this. Let's start processing it. Uh, All right. <laughs> did you like that, Parker? I love it. Okay, okay. <laughs> if you want, the instrument rack is going to be below too, and as well as the serum preset. Uh, it's all Ableton effect stuff, so it's pretty cool. Ableton. Ableton. Should we do the just the? Should we do the the serum preset and the audio effect rack? So yeah. So they can, if they don't want their rack, they can just have the preset. Let's just give them everything, and if they don't want it, well, but just I'm delete like, yeah, it out. You figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Audio effects. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add another one of my favorite effects in Ableton is their overdrive. I'm going to drag an overdrive right here, and I'm going to type to some click and stuff. So what do I have? 131. 131. Beautiful. For frequency for the kilohertz. This is at 5.99. Not 6. Not 6. Don't make it 6, otherwise the whole entire set. So- the whole sound is just ruined. It'll be completely fucked. Done. <laughs> I like how we can say bad words. It's tight. Yes. I feel like I'm in public school. It's the new TV. Because I went to Christian school. Dry wet to 7%. Did you go to Jewish school? Yes, but it wasn't like public school. It was private. It was like in addition to you. But like, Jew- like It Jewish- wasn't like instead. Jewish people don't care if you cuss, right? No. That was like not a big not deal. Not at all, yeah. Christians are like, whoa, bro. <laughs> whoa. I still love God, though. Never mind. Not gonna get into that. Yeah, Shout out no the comments way. below. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> All right. Next thing we're gonna do is add an OTT. The art. And art. <laughs> we're gonna set the amount to a thirty-one percent or thirty-eight percent. My bad. Thirty-eight percent. And I'm gonna pull this up to right there. It's hard to say exactly. That's fine. And then I'm gonna pull the mids up to around right there. And the lows, I'm going to pull up to like right there. It should be sounding like this. A lot Ooh, bigger. Ooh, wow, yes. I'm going to put these in a group so you can hear, so you can hear what the processing does when we're done. Uh, next thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add a saturator. I know. Every time, guys. Every single time. So I important. I Honestly. It. Oh, I, I learned this from a, like a nightmare thing. That I, I just really like and my buddy actually there's a there's a good reason why you want to do this with the soft clipping we'll go in another video but soft clip it's like a built-in limiter someone will probably tell me i'm wrong which has happened before and then the other thing i did was i added an auto filter because the way that it was happening in the song was the the, the wub would happen and obviously you can hear we have a lot of reverb tail coming out and I didn't want that. And also I wanted to give it more of that. Really what the sound is kind of doing is, is from this, this low pass filter. It's opening and closing really quick. So I wanted to do that again because adding all this other stuff kind of kind of pushes out the sound a lot more. But also pushes out more of the reverb, which I didn't really want. So we're going to make it quick, like a quick little gate. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to add an auto filter. Auto filter. And you're going to set it to, I put it on 12. And I put the frequency down to 26, all the way down, right? And then what I did is I drew an automation lane, which I'll do really, I'll do really quick. I want to close out of serum for a second. We're done with that sound, so it's fine. They can, they can download it in the comments below. <laughs> Everything's in the comments. Below. Download in the comments below. Download in the comments below. Okay, so hopefully there are people hanging out with us right now. Yeah, you know, if you're just joining us, we just made the web from joyride's new breed and we also made the sub wub in the sub wub in the sub in the morning wub in the sick sub. name dude that was... did you just go wub in the sub 
<laughs> you did, didn't you? No, it was the. It was you the went full like hand. this with two fingers. <laughs> no, it was the full one. It was the full hand. Full hand. <laughs> Wub in the sub in the morning. <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? <laughs> How many deep are you in the comments below? Yes. Just uh, you know, guess. It's You're trying to like, keep it uh, together so hard. <laughs> it's no, trying... Probably like uh, you know, nineteen. You don't want to. If you don't want to listen in to the this, comments fuck below. around. Just download the shit. Yes. The, just download it. Just download it. Bob Parker. Bob Parker. All right. All so right. for this. <laughs> For what you, now what you're gonna do is I have an automation lane, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is a cool little trick with Ableton. This is why it's awesome. Touch the frequency knob, move it like this, right, and then hit this little plus sign. Ableton says, "Oh, do you want to automate that?" The answer is yes, Ableton. Yes, I do. I actually have it set to what do I have it set here? 198. So yeah, I actually set this to this one. We're gonna set this to 198 first. Cool, 198, I'm gonna add the automation lane there. Whatever, I kind of fucked up, whatever. And then, uh, turn this back on for automation. Pull this up, so the free, see, we're doing the same, we're like kind of making an LFO in Ableton. So we're pulling it up. You ever do this, Parker? Yes. Okay, thought I was teaching you something new, but apparently not. I love auto filter. And we're kind of doing like this type of shape right here, and then I had it go down like this all the way. So it shuts really fast. It's like right there. It should sound like this. See? So it still has the reverb in the sound, but it's not lasting a million fucking. So the auto filter is after the filter, or I mean, uh, it's after the reverb? Yeah, exactly. Cool. So our reverb is getting shut too. So we still get that big sound, but it's it's gonna not going to interfere with the rest of the mix. And then if I like that, cool. I like the way I just drew there. Um, I'm gonna do this. Automation is where it's at, man. I mean, that's how that like how they're getting all these crazy different patterns and stuff. It's not just like the same thing, like yeah. rhythm wise, the same note. It's there's all this pitching and stuff. It's because they're they're automating so much stuff. It's really cool. And that's how you can get really creative with it. That's what I like to do in a lot of my tracks, like Jesse Cohen. Jesse Cohen. Je Jesse Cohen. I don't know if you guys didn't tune uh, in. Tune in June first. It's gonna be there. June first. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to group these all into one. I'm going to select them all. Click drag. Command G. Now I have an audio effect rack. That's what I'll do. I'll keep the audio effect rack separate for the processing. I like it. And then that way it's not an instrument rack. That's cool. Um, I should I'm down with that. Um, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to turn this off right now so we can hear the difference. I'm going to solo it. On. Off. <laughs> It's huge, man. Big difference. Huge. Let's hear the mix. Pretty sick, dude. Awesome. I thought we did pretty good, man. I think that sounds great. I really like I really like all the LFOs and all the filters mm -hmm. that you put on. It really like organizes the sound mm -hmm. field in a way. You know? Yeah. Instead of just throwing sounds in and then like EQing them out later for the whole entire track, you know, you're you're yeah. automating EQs and filtering things out just for a specific time. All that stuff, all that stuff, like adds up and makes a huge difference. Yeah. And so, actually, you know what? I want to address something too. Some some people ask me in the comments, which is so great. I really appreciate everyone talking to us in the comments. Like, if you got a question, like, if, we're, if you're in the live stream right now, or if you're watching on YouTube, like. We love it when you guys reach out to us and we try to answer it as best we can. Uh, a lot of people are asking me like, what makes me start a sound for like a remake? Like what, like how do I know what wavetable to use? And they all, basically you can all kind of base it off of, uh, you know, like what a saw wave sounds like or what a triangle. If you learn those basic shapes, totally, it's really the, the a really big foundation in sound design. And then after that, what I've been I've been getting this I'm still learning all the time, is I've been learning uh, like what what different filters sound like, mm. which is like I can hear a filter I'd be like oh that's like they're using the comb filter at Serum, nice. So it's just like repetition and keep doing this, keep watching videos because videos help me and I'm sure they help you. I hope that we're doing uh, really good remakes and that you guys are enjoying ours. I'm really proud of them. I know Parker is too. I love them because we work really hard on this for you guys and we really love doing it. 
Um, but without further ado, I think we're going to wrap up for the night. Uh, I went over some stuff. Oh, yeah. Again, if you guys are just joining us, you're too late. If you are just it's fast over. forward to the end, you're welcome. Go ahead and download the description below. Download it below. Below. We are at XLNT Sound. We are on Instagram. We are on. I'm watching Kenny do this. Yeah, we're on Insta. We're on Insta. Killing it. We're on Facebook. Facebook. We are an Instagram model. We have 11,000 followers on Facebook. I mean, on Instagram. What's our. Love it. Look at that. Look at at those happy people in the studio. So happy. If you guys want to rent out the studio, we do offer it. Um, You guys can just give us an email. Uh, We are also on Facebook, like I said before. If you guys want any production advice or just have questions, obviously we offer that too. But we are audio engineers. There's our YouTube channel. Kenny's YouTube. going through it. I love the picture. With the of lean. Right. Yeah, we got a couple sounds. We got a couple videos up. We got uh, us hanging out there doing goosebumps. It's pretty tight. We got a lot of stuff going and on. June first. And June first is 1st, the big day. Dub sauce. Our first dub sauce. sample pack with the signature series. Uh, we are going to be having this kick drum sound that we just made in for Joyride for the remake and the clap, uh, as well as like those other videos that you saw. You saw Gasly, you saw uh, Travis Scott, Nightmares, Goosebumps, uh, Boombox, 808s, all that stuff. Getter and Halen Abuse might be coming. Yes. Maybe. I love it. Maybe? Maybe. Should we do it? We've been maybe, talking hopefully. about it for a while. Yeah, we could definitely do it. It's kind of older, but we've been wanting to do our version. It's Am I forgetting style. anything I like else? That. I think that's cool, man. We should we should ride it on out. We should ride this bitch out. Ride that new breed. Oh, I also wanted to say this. Yes. <laughs> One last thing. Yes. We need to get people's contacts. So if you want. Oh yeah. If you want to send us your contacts, if you want to send us your, how can we do that? How can we set up some people? If you want to know, shoot what, us your email. Shoot us your email on Facebook, whatever. Just like yo, let us know when you're when you're going live again. You'll be the first to know. We're going to be giving out some free samples before our sample pack as well. Yes, for the people that do uh, give us their contacts so we can hook you up. We've already given away some of the pack. Even though it's not done, we've given away some of the stuff in the packs for some of the people that have reached out to us. So reach out to us. Yes. Maybe if we're feeling if we're feeling. I don't horny, know about we'll... some pre-orders, but we're definitely going to hook you guys up. Yes, exactly. We're still figuring out the pre-order business. The pre-order business. But we're learning. Yes. All right, let's go out with our – how can I do this with our version – Let's just hear it. Let's hear our version one more time, and then we're gonna play his all the way out. I guess. Let's do it. Let's go from the from. We'll do from the build. Uh. What?